Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Mr. Stuart McMangani. So, uh, today we gonna focus on force diagrams. But before we move on to force diagrams, I just want just to revise uh, two questions that I gave you from the previous tutorial. The questions were based on um, um, equations of motion under constant acceleration. And I give you a task to go and do um, um, at your place after the, uh, the the tutorial. So we have the first question there is, a bus accelerates at 40 meters per second square until it reaches a speed of 80 meters per second. Calculate the total time taken by the bus for this journey. So uh, I said last time, when you're given a situation like this, first of all, you have to identify what is it that you are given and what is it that you are not given from the context. So allow me to write here what we are given and what we are not given. Um, we are given here the acceleration, which is 40. So I'll come and write acceleration equals to 40 meters per second square. What else am I given there? Um, until it reaches a speed of 80 meters per second, this one is my final velocity, right? It reaches a speed of. So I'm having my V as 80 meters per second. What else am I given? Am I given initial velocity? No, I'm not given U, which is close to zero. Um, I'm not given T as well, close to something that I'm not given, right? So given A, V, U, and T, what is the best equation that I can use from the formula? Um, you shall use V is equal to U plus A T. Right. So, um, what is my V? My V is A T. My U is zero. Plus, what is my A? My A is 40 times T that I'm looking for. I don't have T. So, in that context, I'm going to have A T is equal to 40 T. And then you divide both sides by 40. You divide both sides by 40 for you to get um 40 into, um, into 80. That's 2 times equals to T. So, your time is given in seconds, which is two seconds. Is it what we all did? Right. Um, let's look at this question that you are given. Tanaka covers a distance uh, of two meters in 40 seconds. Calculate his average velocity. Right. Um, I gave you the what is it um, the formula last time of calculating the average velocity um, Alternatively, we can use this one DST triangle. I don't know if you've heard of it DST triangle means that distance is equals to speed times time Right time is equals to distance times speed and speed is equals to distance divided by time so there i'm looking for average velocity which is the average speed so i'm going to say my distance covered over time taken so is equals to what was my distance the distance was um two meters and then my time was 40 seconds so what am I going to get? What are you getting there? 14 to 41 into 2, 0, into 20, 0, into 200, 8 of 16, 20. So into 200, you get 5. So your average velocity was 0 0.05 meters per second. <laughs> Is it what we all got so your homework you are supposed to look like this your first answer was supposed to be time equals to two 
then your second answer is supposed to be um velocity average velocity equals to 0 0.05 meters per second right so i'm gonna wrap this off and then we are going to focus on today's concept basically what today's tutorial is not going to be very very long we are not going to spend much of the time uh, because the concept is okay so we have this um force diagrams this is one to want to focus on okay um you have your mess yeah mess obviously that is in kg and then you have a force pulling here is five newtons and here you have a force pushing your mass which is two newtons calculate the resultant force resultant force right you have two newtons going that side and your five newtons pulling that side so what are you going to get right remember if your arrow is pointing to the right side it means that um it's going to give you a positive result if it is going to the negative side it's going to give you a, a negative result it's going to be easy it's going to the left side so in that case you are going to start here with five resultant force equals to five newtons you always start calculating from the right side five newtons plus two newtons two newtons because it's going that side so you are going to have seven newtons is your resultant force can you see okay um you have something like this i know let me not give you this now let me give you that um this is a mess and this is we have forces acting that way and this is 20 newtons and this is 30 newtons and this is 45 newtons and then we are asked to find the resultant force there how do we find resultant force first of all we look at objects um at items on the right side so there you have a 30 newton that is positive 30 newtons right um it's saving it's adding to a negative 45 because 45 is going that side right and then this part is this one which is adding to negative 20 newtons because 20 newtons is going that side that is why we're putting negative thing so 30 minus 45 you're going to get a negative 15 negative 20 newtons obviously so your resulting force is equals to negative 35 can you see okay i would like us to do this Please find the resultant force here. Seventy newtons. Thirty newtons. Ten newtons. Forty-eight newtons. Let's find the resultant force of that diagram.
I done? Okay, I said you always start dealing with the things from the right hand side. So we are going to have negative 10 newtons uh, because it's opposite direction. It's adding to 48 newtons because it's going like that. Then plus this side, um, negative 70, negative 30. Mind you, because all these ones are going that side. So we are going to have minus 10 plus 48. That's obviously a 38 newtons minus 70 minus 30 that's a minus 100 newtons so what is that 8 minus 100 that's supposed to be 62 newtons can you see how we did it I don't know if you understand thing. Right. Um, today's lesson ends here. We we're focusing on force diagrams. Let's meet on our next tutorial. Leave your questions on the comment section. Um, leave whatever that you think uh, may be necessary for this tutoring um, program. I want to I want to hear your your point of view, guys. Um, leave in the comment section i'm here if you have questions my whatsapp number is on the on this channel you can whatsapp me and i can help you